A long, long time ago. This is a story about baby Mario and Yoshi. A stork hurries across the dusky pre-dawn sky. In his bill, he supports a pair of twins. Suddenly, a shadow appears in a gap between the clouds and races toward the stork with blinding speed. Screech! The babies are mine! Wow! Snatching only one baby, the creature vanishes. into the darkness from whence it came. The second baby falls undetected towards... the open sea! Oh no! Meanwhile, here is Yoshi's Island, home to all Yoshis. It's a lovely day, and Yoshi is taking a walk. Huh? Suddenly, a baby drops in onto his back. The baby seems to be fine. This is very fortunate. What? Something else fell with the baby. Let's take a peek. It looks like a map. Maybe the stork was using it. But Yoshi can't figure it out. Yoshi decides to talk to his friends. Ah! Kamek, the evil magic Koopa and kidnapper of the baby, quickly dispatches his toadies. When he discovers that he missed the other baby. Yoshi heads leisurely back to the other Yoshis. Unaware of the danger at hand. Kamek's forces are actively searching the island. Will these two children ever reach their parents safely? Hey everyone, Skull902 here, and to celebrate the holiday season, this is my Let's Play of Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island for the Super Nintendo. I have some good Christmas-related memories with this one, so I figured it'd be a good time to do this LP. Uh, big thanks to KN for providing the narration. Let's throw it back to her for the opening cutscene. This paradise is Yoshi's Island, where all the Yoshis live. They are all in an uproar over the baby that fell from the sky. Wait! The baby seems to know where he wants to go. The bond between the twins informs each of them where the other one is. The Yoshis decide to carry the baby to his destination via a relay system. Now begins a new adventure for the Yoshis and baby Mario. So there's our story, folks. Uh, we got to uh, 
take Mario back to uh, Luigi, you know, uh, unite the future saviors of uh, the Mushroom Kingdom. This part is going to be uh, a lot of explaining, a lot of uh, tutorialization and whatnot, and I'll be sure to uh, provide the needed exposition as it goes on. If baby on. Mario falls oh, off Yoshi's miracle. back, the countdown timer will begin. When it reaches zero, Kamex toadies will kidnap baby Mario. The more stars you collect, the safer you are. The countdown timer will slowly count back up to ten. Complete the stage by passing baby Mario to the next Yoshi. Okay, that was a little weird, but, uh, you know, Miracle is absolutely right. Uh, that's, uh, that, that's how the game, uh, basically operates, uh, and I'm sure I'll <laughs> explain that again, but, uh, in much stupider detail, uh, of course, as this, uh, whole shebang goes hovering on. Jump. Rabbit? By holding B down, you can hover in the air for a short time. Make the extra effort! Uh, oh, okay, thank you. Uh... But yeah, as Miracle said, uh, the the goal is to uh, reach the end uh, with Mario uh, so that you can safely hand him off to the next Yoshi uh, and whatnot. And speaking of which, KN did say that uh, the Yoshis are working as a group, so let's meet the team. Using a relay system to ensure baby Mario's safety, these eight elite dinosaurs fight their way through the forces of evil to reach their goal. This collective of battle-tested warriors are known only as the... Yoshi Team! Green! Yoshi! The leader, an experienced tracker, he always ensures the safest possible path to take the baby through. Seasoned and reliable, Green Yoshi knows how to get it done. Pink! Yoshi! Bullied in school, Pink Yoshi turned the doubters around when he challenged an oncoming tornado to a fight and won. He keeps to himself, but when the time comes, he's always willing to show what he's made of. Light Blue! Yoshi! Raised by a clan of ninjas, Light Blue Yoshi's main method is stealth. Quick and silent, he can find any way to catch you by surprise, and when he does, you're history. Yellow! Yoshi! Yellow Yoshi is the lone survivor of a village steamrolled by Koopa forces. Out for revenge, he acquired expert marksmanship skills. He's so good at throwing projectiles that he was a natural choice to take on the Koopa fortresses. Don't stand in his way when he has an egg in hand. Purple Yoshi! Purple Yoshi is a mysterious figure. His psychic powers allow him to know where his enemies will be and what they will do with almost 100% accuracy. Using this advanced knowledge, he's a sure bet to get the kill when need be. Brown! Yoshi! Appropriately colored like shit. Not because of a lack of ability, but due to his abandonment of any decent morals when it comes to fending off evil. Brown Yoshi will pull out all the cheap shots and underhanded tactics he has if it gets him any closer to victory. Red! Yoshi! Red Yoshi is a powerful beast with a short temper, and has been ever since a Goomba took his melon away as a child. Get him angry and you're in for a world of pure, unadulterated pain and suffering. Blue Yoshi! With military expertise, Blue Yoshi is the perfect pick to infiltrate the castles of Koopa. His extensive training has made him an unmatched combatant, so good with his fighting ability that his fellow Yoshis claim he will never die. Those who get on his bad side are dishonorably discharged. Permanently. Wasn't that fucking awesome? Uh, but yeah. Uh, that's, uh, that's how this game rolls, man. The Yoshis are working together. We gotta get, uh, Mario back to, uh, Luigi and unite them and, uh, get them to their parents because, you know, it's kind of a, a sad Making thing. Making eggs. Josh. Grab it in the Josh. Y, then press down Josh. The Okay, when I invited KN to be the narrator of this game, that wasn't just, like, an invitation for everyone else to come in and interrupt me. Guys, I appreciate it, but I can- I can handle it. I- I know that I'm shitty at commentary, but I can handle it, I swear. Uh... But Josh does have a, uh, a point, though, about the eggs, uh, so I guess I'll mention that now. Uh, eggs are, uh, going to be the, uh, main method of attack in, uh, in this game. And in fact, this box is going to show us how to use them. Uh, you press A once, of course, to, uh, get the reticle out, and then A again to, uh, throw the egg. I don't know if I, uh, activate the block that says it, or if there even is a block that says it, uh, but, like, uh, you can, uh, get, like, a more precise shot instead of having to rely on, uh, the, uh, timing of the, of the reticle by, uh, holding down R, uh, or rather pressing it. Uh, so, 
I know I do that uh, at least once in this playthrough uh, to get a more steady shot uh, at something. Uh, so that's also a useful tool. Uh, you make eggs by, uh, you know, uh, eating an enemy uh, and then pressing down. Uh, so I guess you don't really eat them at first. You, you get them in your mouth, which sounds very unintentionally sexual, uh, and, and then press down in order to make an egg. Now, uh, this is an entry in the Mario series, but this is, you know, you can consider it kind of like a backdoor pilot, is uh, the way that I like to describe uh, for the Yoshi series. So, uh, you know, th this game is both. It's a Mario game and a Yoshi game. And, uh, like I said, eggs are going to be your main method of attack here. Uh, you know, you could uh, stomp on those flowers or the shy guys if you want to, like a normal Mario game. Uh, but... You know, there are these piranha plants here, for example, that you can only take out with eggs. So the name of the game here is, uh, if, if you're someone like me who was very used to, uh, uh, the Mario style, uh, and whatnot, uh, you're gonna have to get used to throwing eggs, and I find that the way that they, uh, implemented it, uh, makes it very easy to, uh, get used to, uh, you know. Uh, looking at the footage isn't really indicative of uh, how easy or difficult it is to learn these mechanics. Uh, and I think that, uh, you know, the way that the gameplay works, uh, along with the level design and uh, everything like that, uh, makes for a fucking fantastic game. Uh, and I I'm, I'm very uh, happy to uh, be bringing this one to you. It's, it, it is one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, certainly one of my favorites on the Super Nintendo. So, uh, you do get a rank, uh, or a score, rather, on, uh, your levels, uh, so I guess I'll, uh, go ahead and explain that. Uh, Yoshi has grabbed some stars and, uh, you know, uh, just to throw it back to what Miracle said for, uh, a brief moment there, you know, there is a, a countdown timer. If you get hit, uh, Baby Mario is knocked off your back, and, uh, when it reaches zero, Kamek's toadies, uh, you know, zoom in to, to get him. You want to uh, be able to clear the level with Mario in tow so that the next Yoshi can, uh, you know, uh, take up the task of, uh, you know, this whole mission. And they they certainly let you fucking know when you've lost Mario because not, 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 blah, 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 words. Not only uh, is the, the timer going, uh, but, man, uh, he's... He's got quite an annoying cry, uh, you know, uh, but but it works, uh, you know, nobody likes a crying baby. Uh, that's not to say that uh, any normal person would be like, oh, you know, I liked little Johnny before he started crying, then he got annoying. But you know what I mean, No, nobody likes to hear a baby crying because that's sad. So, uh, you know, uh, you, you gotta have Mario on your back. Uh, in order for that to, to not happen, and, and for everything to be a good time. Uh, so, the stars, that's the whole fucking point of this. Uh, the stars add uh, some more seconds to your timer, and uh, so do these uh, checkpoints here uh, as well. Uh, but checkpoints aren't what you're graded on in, in these. It's uh, stars, red coins, uh, as well as the flowers uh, that you collect. Uh, so... You know, it's a fun little element for 100% uh, completion. Uh, now allow me to uh, completely get away from that point for a few <laughs> seconds <laughs> to uh, talk about this because uh, it, it showed up. There are bubbles uh, with uh, vehicles in them for Yoshi to transform into. Uh, this is the one that you'll be seeing the most, the helicopter. There are five vehicles. The helicopter, as I just mentioned, and what we're seeing now. Uh, the second most common would definitely be the mole tank. Uh, and then three fairly uncommon ones would be uh, the car, the submarine, and uh, especially the train. Uh, God, you, you really don't see the train all too often. The helicopter, I, I think, is uh, a little sensitive to, uh, to control, but uh, nothing too bad. I'll get to the other ones when we see them. But... You know, uh, it, it adds some nice flavor and, and character to, uh, you know, an already uh, 
really expressive and vibrant game. Uh, you know, uh, I, I think it only adds to the experience. It's nothing detrimental uh, or anything like that. So, you know, cool stuff. Now then, back to this. Uh, with the stars there, uh, you're seeing uh, 30 out of 30. Uh, 30 is the uh, maximum that you can uh, carry uh, at one time. So uh, that's one part of your grade. Uh, the next part would be red coins, which uh, some might be surprised, but uh, this is where they debut. Uh, they don't have the same function as in Super Mario 64. Uh, you know, they're only worth uh, the same amount as one normal uh, coin, but uh, it's just a, a bit of an extra thing that they, they put in there to uh, uh, help with the whole 100% completion thing. You know, it's just extras. You don't you don't need it to beat the game, and uh, certainly you know I I didn't get a hundred on uh, you know the first two levels here, so you can definitely tell that this isn't going to be a hundred percent run. The uh, stars and red coins are worth one point a piece uh, on on your score, uh, and then uh, then you get uh, flowers. There are five of them uh, in. Each level, and I, I should have pointed out that uh, red coins. There's 20 of them uh, per level, uh, but there are five flowers uh, per per level, and those are worth uh, 10 points. You know, 30, 20, uh, and uh, 50, of course, uh, makes 100. That's how the system works. <laughs> Good to know that I can math. But yeah. Uh, Again, not necessary to uh, beat the game or anything, but uh, that's uh, your 100% completion threshold. And unfortunately, uh, even though I came close a few times, like I have a 97, a 98, and a 99 if I'm not mistaken in this run, no level uh, in this run is completed uh, at 100%, which uh, fucking sucks in uh, those three certain cases that I mentioned. So, you know, I mean, I didn't come in expecting to beat this game 100% anyway, so, you know, it's it's perfectly, uh, it's perfectly fine. Uh, I will show what you get for 100% uh, completing uh, everything in uh, the first extras video. Think of it like um, how I did uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3, where I showed the extra world, uh, or extra worlds, rather, uh, in the first extras video before I'm, you know, doing the more, uh, scripted ones. That, that's how it'll work. Uh, basically, uh, if you 100% a world, you get, uh, a extra level, as well as, uh, an extra bonus challenge that, uh, you can access at any point. Bonus challenges are, uh, normally spawned by, uh, the, the flowers that you get, so, uh, you know, you get five flowers, five chances to get a bonus challenge at the end of each level. Uh, so long as the little spinner lands on one. You know, uh, so I, I think uh, that explained everything about uh, the whole scoring system. Uh, I do get a bonus challenge here, uh, which... Uh, you know, <laughs> a good little segue, I suppose. That's uh, the, the perfect way to uh, transition into... Uh, uh, this, uh, this sort of thing. What we're gonna see here, uh, once, uh, Yoshi hustles his fucking ass, is, uh... Again, uh, you got the, the little, uh, revolver, uh, I guess I'll say, and, uh... Booyah! If it lands on a flower, you get a motherfucking bonus challenge! Uh, isn't that neat? Uh, but bonus challenges are really good ways to, uh, stock up on lives as well as items. Uh... The one that I, I'm getting here is a lives game. Uh, it's a scratch and match, so um, you get three chances, uh, and the amount of Mario's that you get correlates to uh, the prize uh, that you end up with. Uh, so one Mario is one up, two Mario's is two ups, and uh, if you uh, get it perfect, then uh, you're rewarded with five lives. Uh, so pretty cool. Uh, there are other games where the object is getting uh, items, uh, which I will explain as uh, as we see uh, the items in game, uh, but you know there are plenty of bonus games, uh, bonus challenges, whatever you want to call them, 
Uh, and I think, again, it's just it's a fun little way to uh, add some more to uh, the game without uh, being too distracting uh, or, uh, you know, being bad uh, in any way. Nintendo knows their shit. Uh, so, uh, Yoshi's Island uh, is a game with a vast amount of levels uh, and a vast amount of level types. What we're seeing right here is uh, the fortresses, uh, which uh, I'll get a little more into after uh, the beginning spiel uh, to this whole thing. Uh, topic of discussion, whatever. Um, but, like, uh, the first two levels that we saw are uh, what are called plains levels. Uh, and then we get caverns, which is uh, what the third level was. This is a fortress, uh, which technically speaking is distinct from uh, castles, but, uh, you know, they're really, like, thematically and everything uh, the same. Uh, you know, you, you go through them, you face a boss at the end, uh, it's all good. Some would uh, say that you face mini-bosses at the end of uh, the fortresses, uh, since it's the midpoint of the world. Uh, but, uh, as far as I know, there's, uh, no official distinction, so, uh, <laughs> as is, uh, typical with me, I'm just gonna go with, uh, the official nomenclature, uh, for this one, and, uh, say that they're all bosses. It, do it doesn't matter if they're in the fortresses, it doesn't matter if they have their own distinct theme from, uh, the ones that you meet in castles. I don't give a shit, goddammit. <laughs> These motherfuckers aren't boom-booms. They've got, like, the same, uh, atmosphere and feel as a normal, regular boss. I don't know why I'm going on about this for so fucking long. Uh... But, yeah, uh, plenty of level themes, and, uh, you know, as we continue, uh, more and more in the game, uh, I will get to them, uh, as, uh, as we see them. Like I've been saying for pretty much everything <laughs> thus far. But, uh, here's something, uh, you know, uh, back on the point of eggs, uh, you, uh, you can see actually there, um, there was a green egg and, uh, there's a yellow egg. So, uh, in addition to eggs just being, like, your main, uh, method of attack, uh, in this game, there are also different types of eggs. Uh, which I, I think, again, it adds it adds something uh, to uh, the whole gameplay experience. Uh, green eggs uh, are just your standard, you know, uh, the ones that you get from swallowing enemies and, and whatnot, and uh, from uh, most boxes. Yellow eggs are, uh, if you don't get them from a box or, uh, you know, some other predetermined method. Uh, you can get yellow eggs by uh, bouncing green ones uh, off walls and then uh, catching them. Uh, so uh, that's pretty neato. And uh, yellow eggs, uh, their special property is uh, that they have more bounce. And then there are red eggs, uh, which uh, if you hit an enemy with them, uh, then uh, you get stars. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Speaking of eggs, uh, this is, a uh, Bashful Burt, uh, and, uh, the, the point of this boss fight, uh, is to, uh, knock some eggs in him to, uh, you know, uh, make his pants fall off. So, uh, Nintendo going with, uh, the interesting, uh, OnlyFans method of, uh, fighting a boss. Oh my god. Fighting a boss in this game? Uh... Good lord. And see, there, there, he's all, he's all naked and embarrassed because he doesn't have a penis. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, but, you know, it, it's a first boss, so uh, he just bounces around the room, basically, and you got these two little coves that you can duck in, and it, it's nothing too troubling or anything. The only reason why I got hit is because I'm a fucking moron. So, uh, yeah. Uh... I think that serves as a pretty good introduction uh, part for this uh, LP, so uh, I'm looking forward to doing more, and I hope that you're looking forward to seeing more. So until next time, I have been Skull902, thank you for watching, and have yourselves a wonderful day.